Hey everyone, it's the expert here, and I've decided to bring you a Boomco uh, mod guide. So, it's not really much to it, but this is the Boomco Rapid Madness. Uh, it's an air powered blaster that shoots through a 20 dart clip, and yes, that is a clip, but I'm not going into that debate. So, just going to go over some very basic things that you can do this. Uh, I looked all over the internet trying to find a decent mod guide on it, and everybody was just like chopping off the front or something like that so I'm as far as I know the first one actually like really go inside and take a look at it but it's not much different from any other uh, AirTech 3000 or any other sort of um, air blaster mod but uh, we'll start up here there was another good six inches I guess of the barrel uh, dead space is useless space which is why it's called dead space um, so I didn't need an extra barrel, extra barreling, so I just chopped it off. Uh, you can call it a Boomco SMG if you want, I guess. Uh, haven't done anything to the clip. Uh, I like the sort of like air restrictor system in it. There's no really need to modify that. And I didn't modify any of the locks in here because Boomco is strange. And the way they ratchet through stuff is very strange. So uh, I don't really need to fire the blaster if there's no uh, clips in it. And if I do need to release pressure, that's what the overpressure release valve is for. Or not the OPRV, that's uh, what we took out. Just this pressure release valve that you can do uh, when you need to release pressure. So there's no need to really modify the main box segment. But this, the plunger is actually closed. It is like the uh, mag strike. Yeah, I believe, yeah, mag strike. And the overpressure release valve is actually in the back. If you look on the back, you'll see like this weird triangle head screw. That's actually what holds it in place. And... This is actually the OPRV, and I'll show you it, or a part of it, as we open this up. So, let's see if I can get out of the shot. I went ahead and loosened all the screws. It should be able to pop right off. Oh, maybe not. Okay, looks like some of the screws have refed through. I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, sorry about that. Um, I realized the sun was pretty bright out there, too, so I brought it uh, into a shaded area. So before you'll be able to get open the blaster, obviously you're going to take off, uh, unscrew the screws. But this thing has two interesting things about it. Um, this back piece at the end is the uh, OPRV holding place. I just chopped out where the uh, triangle screw was, and this part is what actually fits inside of there. I figured this would be difficult um, and have something to, to hold the blaster in place. It's actually not. I'm going to set that out of the way. What is the problem is up here at the front, in this imaginary six inches or so, there's a solid plastic ring that they put on the, the end cap. And that is like super glued in place. So I just took clippers and clipped through it because I knew I was going to be chopping this off anyways. Um, if you're not going to be cutting down your barrel, uh, you might want to try a more ingenious solution like boiling it or something um, to get it off because it'll look terrible otherwise. And I know this does look terrible, but you know it's sawed off I haven't sanded it yet or anything um, the second thing you'll need to note is that just like with any other plunger or not plunger but yeah pump that's what I'm trying to think of the pump uh, this blue piece right here is like the end cap it's um, solvent welded that's what I'm looking for solvent welded actually onto uh, part of the shell so I just chopped into the shell with my uh, wire cutters uh, you can dribble it if you want just be careful not to hit this actual tube and it just just hangs out like that. Uh, after that you can actually lift the blaster up and the internals look really complicated up here and that's because there are so many different locks going on um, holding this to keep the uh, clip moving forwards and not being able to fire when there's not a clip in there. Uh, there's no real need to mess with that. This whole plunger is sealed. Vinyl tubing going up. This is your plunger or this is your plunger housing. This is where the air is going to be compressed and actually up in here that's actually the OPRV right there now whenever this thing gets uh, pumped up with air that blue piece comes all the way back and starts pushing into this OPRV plate that'll push the OPRV in and it releases air out so you don't overpressurize your blaster well we're gonna overpressurize our blaster um, I've been experimenting with this and 15 lets me eat through an entire clip with some despair, no problem. Uh, I probably will push it up to 20 just to see if I can get a higher rate of fire, but 15 is a safe number. Um, 
just in case I'll break my blaster and I don't get another chance to tell you. 15 is your safe number if you just do that. Um, there's no real need to do anything else in here. Um, modders go, go ham on it if you want I guess. But that's really all there is to it. Just take out this plate and the piece for it and you can pump up your blaster past the overpressure release and chopping off the front is optional. So I'm going to close it back up and give you a brief uh, firing demonstration just because before I don't know if my model is effective or not but I could only get through about well one full clip with as much as I could pump it up and still like a few darts would hang out now it just eats through it no problem but I'm going to seal it up and give you a firing demo. Alright guys so I pumped out 15 times which is a safe number like I was talking about um, but I forgot to mention this where we where I clipped this uh, the pump valve where it was actually connected to the, the blaster um, it'll like come in and out as you're pumping so you'll want to uh, reattach that somehow if you cut through it obviously on yours uh, otherwise it's going to cause you a few problems but nothing too significant uh, pumped it 15 times like I said loading in the clip alright looks like it's rested in and here we go So yeah, pretty close range weapon on 15. Yeah, about 20 feet. But full auto at 20 feet, not terrible. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's pretty brief, but um, well, yeah, brief to me, I guess. I, I get windy sometimes. But I uh, hope you found it helpful, and uh, thanks for watching. Alright guys, so I couldn't resist. I had to go for 30. So, 30 pumps full auto here we go that sounds pretty satisfying